And no church in this city teach the truth of the Bible. Not one. Not one. Because if they did, let me ask, what's your race? That's a religion. Now that's how I know the churches are lying to our people right here in Charleston. They destroy our minds here worse than any other city I've ever seen. Because when we ask what's your race, our people give a religion. You gave non-denomination. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men, kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites on the time to do. Let's look at Hebrews uh, 7 to 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. Because they don't see each other as Jesus So read, read Malachi 2 and 7 again. So we're going to read for you. What's your name, sir? Herman. Herman? Okay, Herman. Herman. Yeah, Herman. Now, Char Herman? Yeah. Herman. Herman. Okay, Herman, what's Charleston known for? A tourist city. A tourist city for what? What do people come to this city to see? The market. What, what's about this market? Slave market. It's a slave market. No. This is a slave market. Now they put shops in there, and our people show up, and then they go in there, Mind you, you'll have our own people stand here to read that history. Right. We come to Charleston to hear the history of our people taught by other people that don't tell us the truth. Right. Because this city has more churches than any city in America. Bring it out. So right. I'm going to ask again, what's your race? Black man. So, black man. They give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Because the brother said he's a black man. So-called black man. Because black is not a race. It's a color. We say black because of our melanated skin, right. but that doesn't mean that's our race. Am I right, brother? When we say black, we know that's not a race, right? But we'll say that as a race. If I ask you what's your race, what would you say? If I ask your race, sister, what would you say? Uh, my race people from Kenya. Kenya was a name given by the slave master. Israel was given by God. Right. No one can take that. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1. Verse 3, Read. the ox knows his owner. It said the ox, this is an animal. God said a ox knows his owner. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. And a donkey knows where he come from. These two animals know where they come from. Wouldn't you say you're better than an animal? No. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You are. God says you're better than an animal. That's right. right. But because we've been dumbed down in America so bad, God says this. Read. But Israel. But Israel, the people of God. Read. Do not know. We do not know that we're the Israelites no more. Right. Read, read on. on. My people do not consider. Nor do we consider that we are the children of God. Literally. You are a son of God. Right. Your ancestors was brought here, put in slavery. Now this city is one of the top places people come to because of our people building it up. Right. But they tell us we have nothing to do with that. Bring it up. They give us a holiday like Juneteenth that doesn't say anything about us. Because right. to say we were set free, then why were the Jim Crow laws put in place? You know. Don't know. Because we wasn't free. Right. You can't tell me I'm free and then put me back in slavery. Teeth. Right after we were set so-called free with the third with that uh with the Juneteenth, then wasn't it the 13th, uh, 14th Amendment come out, which says what? If you go to jail or if you get locked up, now you're a slave again. Right. So the, and what did they do? Now who floods the prisons today? Black men. Black people and Hispanic people. Right. The same ones they had on a plantation, now they just do it in a different way by putting us in prison. Now putting us in slave. You got that? Isaiah. Uh, no, let's go. I got to prove he's an Israelite. Then we're going to come back there to the hidden in prison houses. Uh, so let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. The Bible is talking about America. This place is going to burn. Right. It's not going to last forever. 
And the proof of that is the fact that y'all broke the Israelites over in slavery already let us know this place must burn. Right. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Read. Read These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. This, every si this city has a, that over a thousand churches. So everybody here know about Moses, but they won't tell you what he looked like. Yeah. They'll tell you, they'll give you the movie, The Ten Commandments, and say he looked like all our oppressors. But we're going to prove what he looked like, just for you, Herman. Uh, so now, remember, we're talking about Moses. Moses uh, talking to Israel. What did Moses look like? Give me Exodus 2. Exodus chapter 2. We're going to find out what color this man is and who he's talking to and what color are they. Right. Read that. You got it? The book of uh -huh. Exodus, chapter 2, verse 19. Read. No. And they said, an Egyptian so, delivered so us. So I'm, I'm going to get the story up. So if you read the whole chapter right. of Exodus 2, Moses ran from persecution from Pharaoh. And he ended up, and then he went around uh, uh, Brother Ray Uel's, uh daughters. Right. So they was actually trying to feed the sheep. And then some, sh some shepherds came and ran the women off. Then Moses stood up to defend them and help them water the sheep. Right, right. And this is what they said. What did the ancient Egyptians look like? Hey, people right here standing at the light at the intersection. What did the ancient Egyptians look like? African American. They look like black people, right? Yes. Now, what color, what did they say Moses was? What did they think he was? And they said, an Egyptian delivered us. They thought Moses was an Egyptian because what color must he be? Because you can't hide. Bring it up. And we're not Egyptian. He said Egyptians are African Americans. Right. That's not true. Give me Exodus 7. Yeah. So they thought that Moses was an Egyptian because he was a black man. Right. right. Not a white man like they put in the movies. Like they lie about all the time. Right. You look like Moses. That's right. Read that. You got it? 11 to 7. Yeah, 11 to 7. I'm sorry. I said 7 11, 11 7. The book of Exodus, chapter 11, verse 7. Uh huh. No. But against any of the children of Israel. Read. Shall not a dog move his tongue. God said, hey, can a dog speak? No. So God is calling other nations dogs. Right. But they say, not my God. God just did it. Right. But they say he don't talk like that. But yes, he do. Right. When it comes to everybody else but his people. Right. Read. Against man or beast. So no other race is supposed to speak against God's people, right. nor our pets. Right. Read on. That ye may know that the Lord do put a difference. And so God put a difference, read, between the Egyptians uh -huh. and Israel. So we are not Egyptians. That's right. 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 Our people run around claiming to be Egyptians. No, we're not. Those are the, they had us in slavery in Egypt. Now this place is called spiritual Egypt. Right. And they put the same people in slavery. Right. Right here in America. Right here in America. So now we know Moses talking to Israelites, right? right. Now let's read the slave ships. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Yeah. Then we're going to go to two, uh, 68. Let's see what was going to happen. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall So Moses is talking. He said, it shall. Read on. Come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we choose not to listen to God, and that's what we did. Right. We didn't do what God said. So right. God said this was going to happen. Read. To observe to do all his commandments. To do his commandments. Read on. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. So if we do not keep the commandments of God, thou shalt not kill. Right. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not have another God before God. Thou shalt not bow down to any images. We broke them all. Right. right. We broke them all. Thou shalt not uh, uh, covet, stealing from each other. Wanting stuff that ain't ours. Right. So we'll rob each other for it. God said, don't do it. We said, nope, we're going to do it anyway. So God said, what's going to happen? That all these curses. All these curses. A curse is a great evil. A curse can never be good. Right. Never. Our people say sometimes a curse can be good. <laughs> that was because we was taught that in slavery, that a curse could be good. Right. That's where we get that from. Yet and still, the same ones that had us in slavery, we're still under the curse of them today. Right. Yeah. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. The curses shall come upon us and overtake us. Now, 68. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee 
It's a Egypt. And say God is going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt. Read. With again. Again. So we're going back into slavery again. We just left Egypt out of slavery. Now we're going back into Egypt to slavery again. But how do we get to this slavery? Read. With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. With slave ships. Right. That's right. Bible. We're reading this out of the Holy Bible. Everybody claims to be a Christian, but they don't read the Bible. Right. Because if they read the Bible, they would do what it says. Correct. No one reads it because when we ask what's their race, they can't tell us. All races are in the Bible. Right. right. The so-called white man is Esau. That's right. The so-called Chinese man is Moab. Right. right. The Japanese man is Ammon. Right. The African-American so-called, you're the Jews. Right. That's right. That's who you are. You're the real Jews. They right. put the Jews on slave ships in America. Right. The real Jews are not in Israel today. Bring We're right out. here amongst our oppressors today. Right. But we do not read the Bible. Therefore, we don't know. So all the things, this custom place right here was linked directly to this city market where our people were sold. Right. Literally right here. And our people go in there and have no clue the history of it. Right. Why would you shop there? If you know they had and sold your people from the ocean all the way to that front building up there, yeah. right on the top step. Yeah. Read on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. And it happened exactly like what we just read. Slave right. ships is in the Bible. And it happened to God's people. Read on what would happen when we get off the slave ship. Thou shalt see it no more again. We have not been back to our homeland. We are from Jerusalem. That's right. We are the real inhabitants of Jerusalem. Right. Not the so-called white man. Not the Ashkenazi Jews or Ashkenazi, how they say it? Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi Jews. They're not Jews, they're converts. Right. That's not right. by blood. You are Jew by blood. That's right. You were born a Jew. Read. And there. And there, when we get off the slave ships here in Charleston, what happened? He shall be sold unto your Enemy. And that's exactly what happened. God said, when we get off the ship, we shall be sold unto our enemies. We had a lady yesterday, last week, say slavery never happened. Yet and still we looking at the slave market. Bring it out. But she said slavery never happened. The brother said, oh, I'm, I asked him, what's his race? I'm human. But God created 18 races. Right. But you're telling me you don't know which one. You're saying everybody is the same. So you're saying that God made a mistake or God is wrong? Right. Who yeah. are we to tell the creator that he's wrong? Teach. Our people are bugged out because we are afraid to stand up and say we are the real Jews. I am a Jew. Right. I am a Jew. You are a Jew. Because we just read your history out of the Bible. Thank and you. God said he was talking to Israelites. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Not to your friends because your enemies would sell you, not your friends. They tell you, oh, well, we're all one people. We're all friends now. Hey, forget slavery. You're my enemy. Right. I'm not going to forget. America don't forget. No one forgot 9-11, and it didn't even happen in Charleston, but it's a holiday here. Bring it up. It didn't even happen here, but it's a holiday. It happened all the way up in New York with the Twin Towers, and the whole race says never forget. Soon as we say never forget slavery, it's a problem. That's backwards. That's hypocritical. Yeah. But yeah. then they say we're all one people. If we was one people, then we should all get paid the same. We should all have the same benefits, but that's all lies because God said it would not happen. Right. That's why this place must burn. Right. Read. For bond men. For slave men. That's why we were slow. We were sold as slave men. And bond women. And slave women. So the women came here with us. Right. We ain't leaving without them neither. And we ain't going to have to lift a finger because right. God going to destroy them just like he did Egypt. That's right. right. And that's in the Bible. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold.
from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.